Hey everyone, it's a Crafter Chris here, back for another video. Um, this is going to be a tutorial. Yes, my kid is in. I just left him in from outside. He is going to be helping us today. Huh. What did you do to your head? Okay, so I had a, requ I had a question asked by Marla Martinez. Um... A couple episodes back where I showed my Candy Kisses shawl and she wanted to know how to make the Candy Kisses shawl pattern into a baby blanket. Well, I messaged um, the designer of the Candy kiss Kisses shawl, which is Tanya Bush, and I did that on Wednesday and I still have not heard back from her. So, this pattern was, the stitch pattern was created by her first. So, if you like making shawls, go over there, check her shawl pattern out. I am going to link the shawl pattern below. But, I'm not making a shawl. I am going to make, I made the stitch pattern into a baby blanket. So for the regular v-stitch, the one that I started with when I first made a v-stitch, you're going to make a slip knot of course. And I'm going to kind of punch you downward a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So the regular v-stitch is usually 3 plus 5. Um, so you do your chain however many you want. I don't know how many I'm going to do. Um, I'm thinking about a hundred, maybe a hundred. See how wide that is. I mean, crochet does stretch a little bit when you add more rows to it. So I'm gonna, you're gonna watch me do my chains because I don't have pause and play. I have play, but I don't have pause. So I have three. Four, five, six, one, two, three, 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 four. Five, six. I am doing multiples of three. It's just I'm adding three to it so I don't have to count one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Nope, not quite long enough. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, and 
I think that's good enough for me. So remember, it's a multiple of three plus a five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the first row, this is a two row repeat, and I don't know if you can see my mess over here, but I frogged a blanket that I was not happy with. And I am using a five and a half millimeter. I'm using my Susan Bates. And the yarn I am using is Burnett Baby Sport. And this is in the colorway Funny Prince. It's blues, greens, and whites. So you are going to count back. And you're going to go, you're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. So one, two, three, four. And you're going to double crochet. And I'm not going to go through the stitches with you. Um, you, If you're watching this tutorial, then you should already know how to do the stitches. So then you're going to skip one, do a V stitch, and then next stitch. You're going to skip one, do a V stitch, and then next. Skip one, do a V stitch in the next. Skip one, do a V stitch in the next, and you are going to continue that and repeat that all the way down the row, all the way down your chain. Um, you should end up with one chain left when you get done doing your v-stitches and like I said I can't pause and push play so you are gonna have to watch me do a v-stitch every other chain and I do apologize for then I would be a lot faster if I wouldn't keep messing up I have a cold so it's making my eyes blurry and my head funny and yeah. I'm hoping to have my shawl design finished this week so that I can do the tutorial this weekend coming. Um, I'm going to finish one project I'm going to finish the one I started um, because I want you guys to be able to see like what it looks like from, I want you just to be able to see a finished project so you can see if you want to make it or not. It is another um, type of flat bottom shawl. It is just made in these stitches which if you know me, if you know me, you know that my favorite stitch is the V stitch. So, Jesus, why am I messing up so bad? So, what's everyone working on tonight? I, at eight or about nine o'clock, had to crawl underneath a park trailer because our Doberman puppy ended up crawl walking underneath there, getting caught, and my Graham had to climb underneath there to get her loose, well then to unhook her from her tether. So then my grandma called me and asked me if I would go out with her to find out where it was, you know, caught. Turned out it was caught around the wheel of the trailer. I don't know how she got caught that way. It's still a mystery to us how she gets caught sometimes. 
she is probably, she's doing really good. Um, she is four months today, which today is April 6th, 2019. It is 11.20 p.m., which is a little later than I normally do my videos. Usually I do them about 10.30, so, but my pap didn't end up going to bed until around 10.30, I guess. And then once he went to bed, I went down to get my kid. Because it was so nice today that I left him out. Because he's been barricaded in my room since Wednesday. So I figured, you know, since I was going to be home and be able to let him in at night, that he could go out today. And I, this is going to be probably a long video. Maybe not. It might be a long video. I mean, it is a tutorial. And hopefully you're going to see me in another video tonight for my regular podcast. So... <sighs> and as you can see, the white feet over here, my kid pretty much has the whole desk to himself. We have a hunk kid. We, um, when I say we, I mean the people that watch, um, WWE, Raw, and SmackDown have a pay per view tomorrow night. So I want to get my videos done tonight. Because wrestling probably isn't going to be over until about midnight or so. Maybe 11 o'clock. Maybe midnight. But I don't want to have to... No offense. I don't want to have to, you know... Baby, I am trying to do something. I love you too, but... You chose to do... You chose to come in. Do not lay on my yarn, you little turd. Kid. <laughs> they can't see what I'm doing. Speaking of what I'm doing, I was talking to my boyfriend and he suggested about me... Because the reason why I haven't done live videos is because the thing that I used um, to hold my phone broke. So I was going to rig, you know, something else up. But he suggested that I get, like, a phone holder. So I went to Walmart. And the first ones I looked at was, like, 60 bucks. And then... I asked the guy, he asked me if I needed any help, and I was like, yeah, do you guys have, um, like, phone holders for your phones that have the suction cup to the bottom that is a little less pricey? Turns out the ones that I was looking at had Bluetooth in them. Hooked in them. So... He took me around the corner and showed me ones that were like 15, 16. I think the most expensive one was like 30 bucks. And I just wanted one that was going to hold my phone so I could talk to you. So I could start doing live chats like on the weekends and stuff. Because um, I'm not going to stay every single weekend at my mom's like I have been. And I had things to do this week, and then I told my mom, I said, I'm just staying until Friday because, you know, I, I have things that I need to do. And, you know, I can't stay up here every single weekend because, you know, I want to see my cat and my kid for more than 
my cat and my puppy, I want to see them more than two days and then have to come back up here. And she said that's fine. So, and then it turns out that my mom and my great gram went to Applebee's yesterday. And before they went, my mom's TV was working completely fine. Well, then when they got back home, her TV, like, wouldn't turn on at all. So, my mom called me and she's like, do you think Graham could bring you up to fix my TV? I'm like, yeah, I'll go down and ask. Well, we went up and I tried the remote. My mom put new batteries on it, new batteries in it. We tried to... We made sure that everything was plugged in, you know, correctly. Everything was. We even went to push the, like, the power button on the TV on, and it wouldn't even do anything. So, um, I guess my mom is getting a new TV tomorrow. And then my grandma's going to take me up there so I can fix it. So I can fix her for her. Get her like hooked up and everything. So. And my mom, you know, she doesn't like to be without her TV. You know, and I was like, well, you have all those DVDs that you buy, you know, that you could watch. And, and I said, you can go out and watch TV with Graham. Or you could watch NXT or YouTube videos or... I'm like, you have other options than watching TV all the time. I'm like, you can listen to your CDs, at all those CDs that you bought. You know, there's other options than watching TV all the time. Okay. So, I have a little bit more to go. I do apologize that I do not have the pause button. So, that you had to watch me do all of them. But I think it's longer. It takes longer to do it with the chain than... If we would have did, you know, the double crochet foundation row or something. But I honestly could never figure the double crochet foundation row for V blankets and V stitch blankets and stuff. Because I don't know, like, how I would, how I would end it with the double crochet row. So I'm like, I just prefer to do it with the chain because with the chain, I know what I'm doing. So I am coming up itchy face today. I was, when I had to get Nala unstuck, I was, had to be in freaking insulation, that pink stuff. And now like my whole face and my arms and thank God my legs were covered, but my face and my arms were in it. So I had, I like, I'm itchy in my face and my arms. Okay, I am on my last V stitch. And then what you want to do is you should have one single or one chain left. You want to put a double crochet in there. And there is your first row. Well, that is really long. I think what I'm going to do is do the first two rows with you. Or the first four rows with you. And then I'm going to rip out and start over. Because this is extremely long for a baby blanket. So. Okay. So now what you want to do. Is you want to chain one. You want to turn your work. You want to put a single crochet. In that same stitch. Okay. Which is what I did. I put a single crochet in the same stitch. The very, very first stitch, you're not skipping any, you're just putting one in there. Then you want to, you know, skip to the chain one space from your V. You want to put a chain or a single crochet, chain three, and a single crochet. 
then you want to skip over to the next chain one space and you want to put a single crochet chain three single crochet skip to the next chain one space of the next v space single crochet chain three single crochet skip to the next v space single crochet chain three single crochet and you want to repeat that the whole way across till you get to the other side and then I will tell you what to do but you're gonna watch me do all of these ones too this one now that we did the first row the rest of it, it will go pretty fast um yeah the rest will definitely go a little faster because you're not going into every other chain which will make it yeah go a little faster so after I do this row I will do you know the two more rows with you like I said this is going to be a long tutorial which I wish I wouldn't have made it this long but or you know what I can do is okay I'm just I'm just going to continue to go but I am going to frog this because it's a little wide for a baby blanket and I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time. Like, I think it's not wide enough, so I keep adding one. I keep adding one chains. And then when I decide to do my starting, my stitch pattern, it is extremely wide. Like, you've just seen me do, literally. Oh, I said it wasn't wide enough, so I ended up adding, I don't know how many more stitches to it and now it's too wide so I'm gonna do finish up this row with you or I'm gonna finish this row up sorry kid and then I'm going to do I'm going to repeat the rows so you know exactly what to do for the repeat It is extremely hot in my room today. So, so yes, this stitch pattern is by Tanya Bush. She, I looked and I did not see this stitch pattern for a baby blanket or any other kind of baby blanket or any kind of blankets. But I decided to ask her permission first. And like I said, I messaged her. I went to the comment section of her shawl tutorial and, you know, asked her if I, if I, for her permission and that was on Wednesday and she still hasn't messaged me back. It's now Saturday. So that was four days ago. So I'm just going to do it, but I'm giving her credit for making the stitch up. So, so yeah. Okay, so this is all the further I'm going to go, which is fine. Okay, so say you're at the end of your, um, your blanket. What you want to do is you want to put a chain, no, you want to put a single crochet three chain three a single crochet in your last V stitch and then your turning chain that at the very very beginning you want at the very top of it which would be the chain top of the chain three you want to put a single crochet in there and then you want to chain three again so you want to put a single crochet at the end of your chain at the end of your blanket which you see um, so here's the top of the chain right here. That's where you want to put your single crochet. 
and then like say this is the end of my blanket right here I'm just going to act like that is my last stitch so I'm gonna put a single crochet there and then I am going to chain up three and then what you're going to do is you're just going to do these stitches in the chain three space that's all you're gonna do is just do V stitches. You don't want to chain. You don't want to chain between the V stitches. You just want to put a chain space or a chain space. You don't want to do that. You just want to put a V stitch in every chain three space of your previous row. So it will look like this. See that? So you're putting your V stitches and the chain three space that you made of your previous row. And I'm going to I'm going to continue down till I am at the end and then I will tell you what to do. But I am going to frog this after I finish this tutorial because, as you can see, I made it too long again. And I finally want a blanket that is up and down, not side to side. So a lot of my blankets, this is how it works, okay? So I do the chain and I'm, you know, chaining along. And then I'm like, I look at it and I'm like, nope, that's too, that's not big enough. So then, you know, I add, you know, like another 50 or so chains to it. And then I finally start my pattern. And then I'm like usually on the second or third row of the pattern. I'm, I look at it and I'm like, holy crap, this is humongous. So then I have to take everything back out because it's too long. I like my blankets to go this way, but a lot of the time, like, like, you know, side to side, but a lot of the time my blankets turn this way because I make them too wide. Yeah, that's usually how my blankets go. I don't know of anybody else who has this problem other than me. If you do, please let me know. I would like to know that I am not the only one who has this problem. Bless you. And then I am going to do another row, a number. So this is row one that we are doing now. We are repeating row one. And then as soon as I get this row finished, I am going to show you how to repeat row two. It's hot in here, isn't it, kid? Yeah. I have my vent closed. I have shorts on. And I had to change out of my pants and my shirt because they were wet and they were making me extremely itchy. Because I was rolling around in freaking insulation because of her puppy. And he is leaving, I guess. So I'm coming up to the last couple of these stitches here. I have three more. Now I have two. So at the end of this row, what you want to do is you want to do one double crochet in that single crochet 
that you did at the beginning of this at uh, the beginning of your second row. See right there. Let me see if I can. So right here below my fingernail is the single crochet that we did in the previous row. So you want to put a double crochet in that stitch. Now we're repeating row two. So you just chain one, turn your work, you put a single crochet in that very first stitch, then you put a single crochet, chain three, single crochet in that chain one of your V stitch. Then you skip over to the next V stitch, put a single crochet, chain no, yeah, chain three, single crochet. Next V stitch, you put a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Next V, you put a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. And that right there is what it looks like. You have a nice straight side when you do the baby blanket. And that's what we all want, right? We all want the straight, the straight even edges. Well, that right there is how you do the um, the baby blanket, the Candy Kisses baby blanket. So, I hope you like this tutorial. And um, if you make this pattern, I would love to see your finished objects over on my Facebook group, which I will link it down below too. It is a Crafty Crocheter podcast. I would love to see your finished objects over there. And, turn it back up to me. I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah, if you do, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. Um... I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will talk to you again in a little bit. Bye.